Drawer event, huh? Ah, dinner. And then lip kitchen. Okay. On your way home, are you? Rest assured, Mr. Bernhard, I'm about to leave. Great glass will be taken by the crows, Bernhard. You'd best not just, old lad. What about you two? Still worried about the crows? I wish they'd leave already, that's what. We're just resting here, I'd say. They didn't hurt anyone, or try to steal anything else. Not as though they necessarily had to, Mr. Bernhard. Doesn't sit right with me, is all. Speaking of which, I'm concerned about Eugene. He's been rather cheery for someone who's been robbed, don't you think? I'd say he seems fine to me. Folks like him, Elise? Oftentimes they're misleading you to think they're in good health. What makes you think that, Mr. Wilhelm? Eugene isn't one to share his thoughts, lass. The lad's the same as always, as though nothing's happened. We must make certain he isn't left on his own for long stretches of time, lest he... Mr. Eugene's had it with this town, that's all. Everything will be alright, I'm certain. Is everything alright? Ah, uh, we were talking about Kieferberg, Elise. Edo can't make up his mind about leaving, which is a little... Don't you leave, Miss Brunhilde? Well, I can't say for certain, but... It's a shame, isn't it? Folks used to want to move here, not the other way around. I've been discussing it with Finn, too. He's rather hesitant. We all know where you land in this argument, don't we, Elise? I suppose you do, Miss Marielle. Oh, I'm so torn about it. I came here from Primaldorf, after all, if I were to go back. Oh, enough, Brunhild. I'm losing my mind. Seems Miss Brunhild's been going on about it. Another one, I see. Huh? Hey, what is it you're meeting him for? I don't think that's any of your business. Let me tell you something, then. Or it's like all you think you know about yourself. What do you mean? There's no amount of determination that can save you from him. Once you're in those woods, once you go through that door. What? You'll be left with nothing but harrowing regret. Why are you telling me all of this? Apple strudel. I don't know if we even have that unlocked yet. Flaky apple strudel neatly decorated and sliced into thick portions. Cool. Long day today, was it, dearie? Were you too, Miss Merchchild? Not at all. I had a lovely nap just earlier. I can't remember the last time I took a nap. Let's call it the perks of old age, my dear. There aren't many, but I make the most of it. You're rather cheery, Miss Merchchild. And most of the crows are gone, Elise. That's a relief, I must say. Makes one wonder why, doesn't it? Sure does, Miss Merchchild. Sure does. I suppose they've had enough of lurking about town, huh?
Oh, did I not? I tend to miss this little area down here. in the church. Oh. Wait, Elise. There you are, lassie. Huh? We need to have a word with you, Elise. Word with me, you say? Her cousin's been going about town spreading nonsense, Elise. Such as? By saying the crows are nothing to fret about, for instance. She's a kind soul, Miss Selma. She isn't afraid of any animals. On the contrary. I see how that might be true, Lise, but still. You're to be wary of such things, not make little of them. I understand, Miss Selma. This is dangerous. I'll have to make certain I bring Rosemarine to work with me. I'll have to deal with this every day. Well, I ain't getting any suspicion. But not bad. Uh huh. Eek! Oh, but please, at least, don't tell my auntie. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Melly? I I've had it with her, Elise. She's uh, always wanting me to work all day. Perhaps she needs your help, Mindy. She only likes me when I'm working. Why do you th think I'm uh, always sneaking about town? Hmm, I'm not too certain I believe you. Golly, Elise, I w was hoping y you'd understand. Not that I don't, but... Y you won't tell my auntie, will you? After what you've just told me, no. Still, you'd best not try your patience too much, you hear? Oh, Elise! But since you like me so much, well, won't you give me some... For goodness sake, Miffy! This Lorley's too hard on Molly, I'd give her that. I know, Elise. I haven't said anything yet, have I? You don't have to, Elise. What am I to do with you, Lepkachin? At least tell me you'll get a good night's sleep tonight. If nobody else breaks into a fever, I might. Here's your bread, Elise. What's on your mind, Lap Kitchen? Things that would upset you, Elise. I'm not certain you trust me at all. I trust you enough to not ask you about it. I keep coming back to this lab if there's... I mean, Elise, you don't have to tell me. Whatever it is you can't tell me, I won't pry. Trust me that much, huh? Even if you truly were the witch. Lap Kitchen! I mean, Elise. I trust you'll tell me in time whenever you're ready. You're truly tired. For someone who's so attentive to others, Lipkitchen, you're not. I'll see you about town tomorrow. For goodness sake, you're so stubborn. Lipkitchen's restless, isn't she? All I can do is make certain I don't involve her in any way. Elise! Elise, come quick. What's the matter, Jacob? It's that fellow, he's gone missing. <laughs> what? Oh, please come quick, Elise. We must go and look for him. That's right, we can't sit about waiting forever. No, I... What's going on here? 
That fellow's gone missing, Elise. Hopefully the lads will find him on their patrol. That will happen upon him, I'm certain. They don't know he's missing, Father. At a time they're back, my poor boy could have... Mama! We all need to remain calm. Calm, Father? My boy is missing! Lord knows if he's alright, let alone if the worst has happened. We all knew those crows were an omen. Out with it. Not this again, you old wretch. Ought to have taken the lad to the witch. What a horrible thing to say, old jockin. You old geezer! You surely have no decency, you. That's enough. You cannot give in to hysteria, brethren. But I think the lads went out in search of crows. Crows were a threat, lass. Oh, that's it. I'm going looking for it myself. Anyway. I'll go. I may be the one to go, Miss Elizabeth. Plus, we wait for the lads. I can't allow... Oh, will you really, Elise? Now, there's a brave lass. Oh, but Father Hans is right. It's dangerous. Leave it to me, Miss Elizabeth. Oh, Elise. I do not condone your disobedience, Elise. I do. I need you to go, Elise, for Angelica's sake as well. Surely the poor lass can't be without a mother. We can lend a hand with whatever you need, Elise. You best make certain you have enough food and matches, dear. I'll be here, Elise. Let me know when you're leaving. Ah, to the woods without. Okay. Hmm. First it was the awful fever, now this. This Elizabeth looks horrified, I can't even imagine. We can only hope he hasn't broken into a fever again, wherever he is. All you can do is bring him back to Kieferberg as fast as you can, Elise. There's only so much one can do, after all. I wouldn't know what to do if this happened to me. You'd best keep a close eye on Maggie, Miss Lorley. Harry, she can look after herself just fine, lass. Better than most folks in Kieferberg, I'd say. Miss Lorley, poor Mandy is still a child. Oh, there's much you don't yet know about her, Dorothea. Such as? She wouldn't let herself starve for stars. Harry's rather resourceful when it comes to food, that's for certain. But enough chit chat. I must find Apfel. My, Elise, I wasn't expecting you to volunteer of all people. I was rather brave of you, Elise. I couldn't sit still and do nothing. My, how fearless. Really, with all this talk about the witch and all not. If only the lads were in town. Who knows, they might find him out and about. They don't even know to look for Apple, Elise. It could happen nonetheless, Wilma. Do you have everything you need, Elise? I believe I do, Miss Elma. Why don't you take this? Oh. It's not much, I know. Thank you, Miss Elma. Well, don't expect any charity from me, Lassie. Be careful, Elise. If only Miss Wilma had been the one gone missing. Enough chit chatting, I must find out, Phil. Let me go with you, Elise. We're not going anywhere, Jacob. Oh man, too, Apfel needs us, Granny. Elise doesn't need you getting in her way, Jacob. Your mother's right, Jacob. I wouldn't get in the way, I wouldn't. I can't look after you and myself at the same time, do you understand? Oh, but I wouldn't. You must trust Elise, Jacob. I know you're hurting, Jacob, but she's right. Mama. I'll do my best to find him, Jacob, I promise. Alrighty, Elise. Poor Jacob doesn't know what to do with himself, huh? Oh, I'm certain he's alright, dearie. 
I can only hope you're right, Miss Marielle. You must keep a positive outlook, Miss Elizabeth. I thought you didn't condone my disobedience, Father. My duty is to care for my brethren's well-being, ladies. You have to be aware it is dangerous. The last couldn't bear the thought, Father. He can't leave Apfel roaming the woods all by himself. Lord knows how sick he was yesterday. If that fever were to strike him again in those woods, I'll make certain I find him, Miss Elizabeth. I appreciate it, Elise, but if you find it's too dangerous... Elise will find him, Elizabeth. We must trust Lass. There you go, Elise. Please be careful. Ah. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. You will make certain to send the lads after you when they arrive. Don't wander off too far, you hear? Thank you, Elise. I must get going. Lord knows he could be stuck in a ditch somewhere. Oh, Elise, maybe it's best one of us goes with you. I'll be fine, Miss Marchchild. You can always change your mind, Elise. Lipkachin's right, Elise. Who's to go if I don't, Freya? Well, that's... It's a good thing that you volunteered, Elise. You're a capable lass. I'm certain you'll find him. Thank you, Miss Ariani. I'm wondering how we didn't notice. It's no use us blaming ourselves now, Miss Merchandile. The children told Miss Dorothea they lost sight of Atfil. Sometime after nightfall, it seems. If I was feeling all right, it may be that. What, Freya? Perhaps he felt ill and didn't want anyone to fret. Or don't say such a thing. That fellow couldn't have wandered too far anyhow, it'll be fine. That fellow got lost somewhere, I'm certain that's all there is to it. May the Lord be with you, Elise. Couldn't the Lord have prevented him from wandering off in the first place? Enough chit chat, I have to go find out though. Go up here? Hmm. I'll have to check for... Fireflies. Alright, so I can't even go back that way. To the forest! Oh wow, straight into the nightmare, huh? I am again. I have to find Apfel and fast. I was trying to tell me something, I suppose. Ooh. What is this? this isn't where it was yesterday, is it? Apfel. Apfel, can you hear me?
I have to find him. Who just knows what could have happened to him by now? What's this thing? A tile? Ignorance is bliss. Has nobody ever told you that? Plenty of times, I suppose. To be unable to grasp how fortunate we are until it's too late. Charmingly tragic, isn't it? I don't see what's so charming about it. I come face to face with it, too. The ruinous grief of your biggest, heaviest regret. But yours, then. The same as yours, we all share the same penitence. Talking to girls like this is never a very pleasant experience, is it? Pearl Rosary. So, um... Yep. That's... Another mosaic slab. Acorns. And I am full health at the moment. Oh. Any more slabs about? Yeah, there's one over here. Corn. A lot of matches. I think it's because if you get hit, you lose your light. Oh, leave first, move on. Can I go back? I can't. Okay. Oh, what? I don't know how I lost my light, but alright. Unless it went out. This wall, it's a mosaic. It's missing pieces, isn't it? Missing pieces, missing pieces! That's what I said, thank you very much. Okay, do I have all of them? Ah, oh, there's one more. I don't quite have time to wander about like this, do I? I should move along and find that fell. She's witless, she's witless! Why, you little... Ah, so this is optional, huh? Ah, okay, so I have all the pieces. I just have to... ...jiggle them.
Ah. Okay. This is my house. Uh, oh, it can't be. I'm imagining things. I don't have time for this nonsense. I ought to... I ought to find Apfel. I truly don't have time to bother with this thing. Apfel could be in danger. Okay. What that does. Other than give dialogue. In the Lord's name? Oh, it changed. That's my house. Must be losing my mind. Ah, grape juice. I'm gonna use that immediately because my mind isn't doing so good. What is this? My house. My progeny, Elise. Uh. Who's there? Come closer, Elise. Delve deeper. To my grove. Uh. What in the Lord's name? Your fate, Elise. Your genesis is in the tapestry. Such a foul smell. Thick crimson blood overflows from the cauldron's shattered rim, coating everything in a viscous sheen. This isn't Granny Spindle. Nothing that's in here is real, it can't be. Completely destroyed, the old spindle leans dramatically supported by its last remaining wooden leg. That woman, she wished for a child of her own. At his doorstep, she kneeled and prayed not to me, but to him. My grove became the vessel, my soil the babe's mortal body. In my very womb, they celebrated their agreement. From him came what I lack, what I failed to lay my hands upon. A human soul to be nurtured in my womb, and later given to her as her daughter. Uh oh. And truth, it's me your body belongs to, Elise. What, is this? what in the Lord's name? There's something under that tapestry. You go upstairs. The whole upper floor is missing. Now leading nowhere, the staircase's wrinkly and damaged steps are suspended as though floating in midair. Guess not. Ah! Ah! What? This dough, its insides have been... My womb used for that woman's wish. I was used, 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 used. Used? What in the Lord's name is going on here? What are these voices trying to tell me? I don't want to look at that. Blood clings to the tapestry's bottom half, thoroughly coating each stitch in deep red filth. Huh. We're wearing my brooch still. Huh? What is one to do when the Lord fails them, would you say? Wait, what are you? 
Our union was favored by the Lord himself, and yet... My inability to bear a child drove a wedge between us. Who are you? But I did what I could. I restored his blessing instead. I brought him my beloved in, in exchange for a baby. What is this? Wait, you can't be. All I can say to you, Elise, who's following in my steps, is that this is what my soulmate would have wanted me to do. For my sake, for our union's sake, and for yours as well. Oh? At last, it's as if she knew me. I don't know what's going on here, but... I can't stay here any longer. I'll have to find and save that fell. 